it's 527 and this is mostly going to be a review of the account I had a fairly large um, green candle here <laughs> on my account so I'm going to share that with you I'm going to go through the account show you all the options positions all the equity positions um, Alibaba had has released their earnings and they're growing at the slowest pace like per quarter ever but uh, the the numbers were still good enough and showed enough perspective growth that or lack of slowdown lack of significant slowdown that uh, investors were actually willing to give it a bid and it finished at about 94.48 US and currently it's trading in Hong Kong in the morning well morning for us here I'm recording this at 1 30 a.m. Um, it's trading at 90.7 Hong Kong. So the way the calculation is done in Hong Kong is, is a bit different. But you just got to add like a couple percent or something like that to that number. And uh, you'll get something equivalent to the US price. So it's going to be probably around 93 US dollars, the equivalent um, at close here. It looks like. Anyway, so let's go into the account. Uh, it is finally dark. Let me zoom it in for you a little bit so you can see better. All right, been filming during the day a lot, so the 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 screen has been white. But here's the day performance. You can see a little bit over nine thousand gain, corresponding to five point six five percent on the account. Mostly, well, everything contributed really besides realty income, but. Um, Let's go through the account and you'll see. So these are all the options positions. You can feel free to, to pause the video player at any moment to try to find out exactly what these positions represent. The number on, on the right is the daily change in dollars and in percentage. This is the equity positions here. Um, Apple was up a little bit over 2%. JD almost 5 VIPS over 7%. Realty income was negative over a percent. Main Street Capital in a positive territory. Goldman Sachs had a really, really nice move um, of almost 3%, which is very important for me. Uh, I'll talk about that next. Smith & Wesson was in the green a little bit over a percent. DD was up 12.5% for some reason. And um, Energy Fuels up 5%. So Goldman Sachs is really important for me because I've been selling calls around the $325 level and I really want that level to stick around for tomorrow. And I may actually just do, um, may roll the option. The reason I want to roll the option here is because markets are going to be closed on the 30th. So which I think it's a Monday, right? The Monday. Yeah, so on the 30th, markets are closed, and I want to be able to take advantage of um, the time premium, right, over the weekend when there's not going to be any price change, but there's there's time premium to things, right? So if events happen over the course of those three days, it's going to get reflected in um, the premium price on Monday. So it's not like going from Monday to Tuesday, you know, over the weekend, you, I could be, you know, making invisible money or like intangible numbers. Let's say a premium is $150 now and Monday it could cost 80 for the same price because more time has passed. So I'm going to be looking to roll the uh, option positions tomorrow instead of waiting for Monday. Um, if it's opportune right if it's if if it makes sense i won't be rolling them if it's like poor price or i don't think it's a good deal so um i'm gonna have to make that judgment on the spot tomorrow um but i may actually even use robin hood's rolling option future <laughs> instead of rolling them myself although i actually prefer rolling them myself because um i don't know i'm just i'm used to it that way and I'd rather just fish and wait for a better deal, like instead of just punching in the numbers right away and then waiting.
for it to execute for, for it to execute okay so that's goldman sachs so thankfully it's it's around 323 level it dropped a little bit too far down for comfort at one point under 300 and so you made my option selling uh, a little bit difficult but this is going to make it really easy if it holds around that 325 level tomorrow so i'm hoping for a slightly green day um if you want to do a quick look at the heat map actually let's finish with the account so i'll go to the account tab here i'll show you the investment investment breakdown i did sell today a few shares of v vip shops so that's why the margin has decreased a little bit i'm trying to put some money off the table because um as we're having more and more green days the chances in my opinion or viewpoint chances of the continuation of the downtrend um become higher right, the likelihood of likelihood of the resumption of the bear market increases with the more green days that we have in my mind so i'm going to try to i'm trying to take some money off the table um, plus I'll be collecting more premium next week so that'll put some more money in the bank I'm not going to shop for anything uh, next week unless things drop down to evaluations that I like like Realty Income had a negative day today perhaps it can have another negative day on Monday or Tuesday in which case I will pounce in right uh, I'm going to take all that all those shares this is uh, by total return this is sorted by equity so you can see the weighting of the account that's the week chart. This is um, it was it's up six percent. The monthly chart about even. Three month chart down two point six eight. One year chart up twelve percent. Okay, so I'm thinking we're close to this little bounce finishing. So hopefully it finishes next week rather than this week. <laughs> because. Um, I'm looking to sell options before the next leg down, which I fully anticipate will happen. Um, let's take a look at the um, stock market map here. I know you won't be able to see it, see it very clearly, but uh, you get a gist of it. This is what happened today. Everything is basically green for the most part. Snowflake was down 4.5%. Any notables, Tesla was up 7.4. That's pretty nice for Tesla holders. Let me know if you got any Teslas, any Tesla stock. Um, all right, Facebook doing well. Not bad. Let's see the one-week performance. Ooh, look at this. Very interesting. One month, everything's still red. Three months, even redder, except big pharma and energy of course we looked at these graphs last time okay um that's with the graph i've been doing a little like opinion pieces of random com oh let's see what happens i'm actually up a little bit after hours i was negative now positive interesting i've been doing a little like company opinion pieces i've been using a couple websites to do a visual you know quick take on a uh, company of your liking so if you have a company that you're interested in i'll give you my opinion of it kind of like a quick take i'm not going to go too far in depth into all of their doings um but i will take a look at the charts and maybe talk about their industry and what my take is on that just to add some perspective maybe it's an investment that you like and my perspective can kind of um give you another, you know, set of eyes looking at it. And you can then take what I say about it and you can drill holes in it. You can like see why I'm wrong or whatever. Or perhaps it'll give you an idea that you didn't have. So I think there's some value there of just another perspective. So if you want me to review a company, I have a couple to do. Um, but I'll do it whenever I have time. <clears throat> and um, that's the plan. <laughs> just do some company reviews for fun all right i'm gonna leave it right here it has been fun to have another great day especially a green day especially a 
big one like this for nine thousand dollars thankfully thanks to the chinese companies i'm hoping for some follow through today and um, looking forward to selling some options tomorrow or on monday all right peace out i mean on tuesday <laughs> peace out